and we target world creation 2023 praise god Cre world creation 2023 i took the first part uh, the second part papa took the first i took the second and uh, the second service the third and this will be the fourth part of, on this topic on wealth creation so and today we'll be uh, clearing our doubts on a very big question big question that has been i believe it has been in your heart because it was actually a big question in my heart and uh, i begin to wonder in fact to the extent that we i and my husband we have to argue on some issues on needs this morning and i said to him we need to answer this question have been born again since i was 11 and since then, till now that I'm 44, I can see that is a big question that we all need to answer. And the question in my heart that says, is it the will of God for his child, or will I call it his own children, to be prosperous? Is it the will of God for every child of God, a born again child of God, somebody that knows God, somebody that served God? Is it, is it, uh, how will I put it? Is it his will for us as Christians to be blessed? I saw some points in the Bible, but we have to, you know, I took us last week on, uh, I call it the evil foundation or evil pattern can be a hindrance and that and that but i want to open our eyes this morning on you know on this uh, this particular question that is it the will of god for me as a child of god to be wealthy so many children of god are still confused in their heart about this like me because i i'm telling you i won't lie whosoever that come on the pulpit and start lying to you because i've seen I've seen people who serve God right from when I was small. Till they die, they did not have CC. They are begging. Isn't the will of God for Lazarus, a righteous man in the Bible? From the beginning of the point that we read in the Bible, till when he died, he suffered. Why? Some people are still on the floor and some are up. And be, at least we can see, we read from the Bible that Abraham was blessed. Oh, bless the lie. Oh, to bless the tito if you don't. Give you quite the Lazarus, a righteous man, went to his bosom in the kingdom. We need to ask questions. I don't know whether when you read Bible, you don't go back. I'm sorry to use that statement. We go back and start digging. What could be the problem? Okay, evil pattern, we have it. But when we are born again, there should be a difference between us and those who are not a Christian. Is that not so? So, let's look at it. And let's start from what God says to, to King Solomon. In the first King, chapter 3, verse 11 to 15, we have a lot of reading, please, to the media. Let's try our best to be quick and to be fast with it. First King chapter 3, verse 11 to verse 15. That will be our first scriptural passage. We all will rise to our feet. We'll read it together for proper understanding. First King chapter 3, verse 11 to 15. So we'll read at the same time. And I know the Lord will give unto us wisdom in Jesus' name. Okay, let's rise up. Let's, let's rise up. Thank you for honoring God's word. Okay, 11 to 15. And let's read together. We'll read together. So media, do it fast so that we won't waste time. One, two, three, and let's go. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thy enemies, but thou hast asked for thyself understanding to design judgment. And twelve, Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was not like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. Verse 13. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches 
and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. 14. 14. He says, And if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my status and my commandments, as thy father David did walk, then I will let in thy days. And verse 15, which is the last one. Go on, go on. Last one, let's go. And Solomon awoke, and behold, it was a dream. And he came to Jerusalem, and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and offered all burnt offerings, and offered peace offering, and made a feast to all his servants. Father, the entrance of your word, give a light and understanding. Take the stage, O oh God, and have your way this morning. Speak to us and grant unto us out of understanding. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Shall we please have our seats? God bless you. Imagine what God promised King Solomon. He gave him the power to make wealth. Somebody may ask a question. Is it not when he came on the, on, the, on the throne that God promised him? You know, that would be a question. But it started from somewhere. I told you last week, evil pattern can make someone to be stagnated, can make someone not to be blessed, can make someone not to be wealthy. But on his own part, his father has did a lot. So from their own pattern, kingship, the throne is being given to them. And that's the reason why he finds himself on the throne. Do you get the point now? Now, coming down to what we ever read, the Bible says, it gave him the power to make wealth. Hmm. If God does not want his children to have it, he will not have given Solomon. Queen of Sheba says something in the book of 1 Kings chapter 10 and verse 7. 1 Kings 10, 7. It, it, she, she cannot hold herself any longer than to open her mouth and say something. Can you open that place so that we all can read? 1 Kings 10, 7. says, when she came and said, ah, 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 I call myself a wealthy person. But coming to this place, I find something different. 1 Kings 10, 7. Any problem? Or you can read from your Bible. Let's just open our Bible. They will keep me waiting. Okay? Three. That's not. Ten, seven. Ten, seven. Who says, how be it? I believe not the words. Until I came. And my eyes have seen it. And behold, the half was not told. Thy wisdom and prosperity exceeded the fame which I heard was suffering me. She went to Maureen, but she would be by Oh, John, what on suffering me, Lord? When I read through this portion, down because I love, I told you I love reading characters in the Bible. I read everything about King Solomon. Indeed, God wants His children to be rich. God promised him and he made it happen. Even up to now, we can still testify to it. The Bible says to him that even I will make you rich to the extent that you hear now that you are alive, it will be so much. Half time you might have gone, it will be so much that people will be referring back to you with the blessing and the riches I will give unto you. The promise of God for his children is that he wants us to be rich. He said, surely I, I wish you can have prosperity. You can have blessing. You can have everything that can make you to be comfortable. I started praying a prayer. Father, I am Abraham's children. I'm one of the daughters. Me, okay, you suck, we, we are many, but directly Abraham's daughter. The Bible says he lived very long Mm -mm. He has so many riches. He has so many goodies. He has so many servants. He has in his own time, as only there were cars. And the Bible says, he now lived longer. Bible says, he now lived longer. 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 And I told God, if you can give somebody this thing, talk about to buy. 
And we are saying, Abraham, blessings are mine. Hallelujah. Abraham, blessings. I am his, one of his daughter. God wants you to be wealthy. God wants you to prosper. Despite all the calamity, all the, we like call it not the atrocity that Solomon put himself into. Do you know that the promise of God over his life still stand? See the promise of God concerning, concerning him. He, he, the Lord makes sure that everything come to pass to him until when he put himself into trouble. He put his hand into what will make God to be hungry. And I will be showing you know, something this afternoon. I mean this morning. See the promise of God concerning his children. That works in, in obedience. In Job chapter 36 verse 11. Prosperity is one of the proof of your obedience to God. And somebody will ask. I believe in your heart. You should ask. Because me too in my heart. I ask a question. If that is it. If it is for that. Definitely something is wrong with some people. Who are serving God. And nothing is showing. Because it says. Blessing. Prosperity will come to whoever that is obedient unto him. Let's look at Job 36 verse 11. It says, if, that, if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in what? Everybody. In prosperity and their years in what? In pleasure. Prosperity is one of the proof of your obedience to God. David confirmed it also in the book of Psalm 30, in Psalm 35, verse 27. If this word of God says, if you obey him, definitely something is wrong with some of the people who are yet to receive the prosperity of God. Somebody will say, If you search deep in your heart, I saw a playlet on the internet yesterday. A woman was praying. She was sweating. As they were showing the something, two men were coming. The second one said, ah, God, this woman is asking for a blessing. Blessing her. Answer her question. Answer what she's saying. See how she's sweating. She how she's skinny. The second man answered and said, I am not like you, woman be who sees the face. I see the heart. And by the time he would say, can I show you her heart? She's praying and sweating. Let me show you what is in her heart. Only for us to see that where she was rakashapashakataba, she was already at the market. Pricing a goosey and a phone she would, she would cook after she finished the prayers. And that's the reason why you see some people, my daughter came and was telling us, hey, one of our uh, staff, uh, after she finished all that, this thing, she will come on the other and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll. And she will stand and say, Father, a shield, a shield, a shield, a shield. I say, Our cloth did not change since she has been working with us. And it was a question I asked my husband. Inye in siyon lo, koloko, kolomo, kolowo, konimoto, konien kakan, edo. In the physical being, you see her that she's, oh, she's righteous, perfect. But what is delaying the prosperity? The word of God says, if you obey me, you will enjoy what? The prosperity. The Bible said, the Lord knows the in-depth of every man's heart. The heart of man is desperately what? Wicked. The Bible says, oh, can know it. What is actually going through your heart as you are seated this morning? You are in God's presence. Everybody is expectant. We in our facial appearance, we have it. We have a look in our heart, in our face that yes, I was seen alone, but inside your heart, what is there? Koto de bi by kiloshe. Ano kiloshe. Ijeta kiloshe. Tabasi sokwe. Ha, who needs kiloko? Everybody will shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what you are doing that can make us to set in bad book when oh my buru jiba ilo, eh tira one disabled handicap. Tell me when they 
show you some their behavior, you will, you will be forced to say, That is God for you. I feel more way. I feel that more logo. But the promise of God can never, can never be, be, be waived or be removed. He promised that if we are obedient, He will bless you. It will bring His prosperity upon you. Yes, what creation we are talking about is for everyone. It's for me and you. Especially those of us who are in the kingdom. Number three, it is also confirmed in the New Testament gospel that God wants us, his children, to prosper. In 1 Peter 2 9, 1 Peter 2 9, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, we are called out of darkness to show forth his marvelous light. He wants us to be blessed. The first point shows us that in the first, I show you the first point. In 1 Kings chapter 3, 11 to 15, that he wants us to prosper. Number two, I show you that the promise of God concerning his children is that when we are obedient, he will, he will give unto us prosperity. Number three, he is also confirming the New Testament. I've shown you two Old Testament, and I'm showing you the third one. In, the, in, the, in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, that says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should do all, show for the praises of him who has called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. I can say it boldly. I can say it boldly without saying any. No, you know, I was listening to a message yesterday as I was going home, and the God servant was saying, Tell me, even go my journey, to a bafilet, to a bafilet, BSIA, to a jadin, you know, yare, only one is sure. Is sure, what are you to say, Rawani? Only even the pagans, they will go through their own. The reason why our home will be different is because we are in the light. So it now dawned on me that yes, if I am a child of God, yes, I've given my life to him. He has he wants me to show forth his goodness. I can see it boldly. Knowing Christ, peace me. I don't know about you. Open me. I compare myself with those who are in the world. They may think they have joy. Have you not seen a rich person? Oni gbogboro, oni gbogbo nkan. Bo nkan to npa lekun ni gbogbo gba. Ko sen to le salaye fun. But being in Christ, being rich in him is better than me having all that the physical thing that people can see. It's a soul that I can show forth his glory. Have you know? For any reason, maybe after you have departed from secondary school, university, you and your friends, some of us will go and hide because we believe that we cannot show forth. But according to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, say, so that you can show forth. So to Bati the level, yes, something is missing. We should be able to come out and say, yes, along with Shemi Logri. And that's the level God is taking us to. After these topics, what creation in God's Word Evangelical Mission, every one of us will show forth His glory, His goodness in our lives in the name of Jesus. That is where we are actually going, and we must show you. Some of the things you need to put in place. And that's the reason for this teaching. We are called out of darkness to show forth his marvelous light. Until that light show forth in your life. And everyone should see. Then you have not gotten there. Let me show you some of the reason why God wants his children to prosper greatly. Let's, I have about four or five points on it. Reason why God wants you as his children to prosper greatly. Reason why God wants his children to prosper greatly. Number one, prosperity is one of the major reasons why our enemies and haters will be forced to submit to our God. Prosperity is one of the major reasons why our enemies and haters will be forced to do what? To submit. To us and to our God. Genesis 50, 15 to 21. Genesis 50, 15 to 21. Shall we? Let's have it on the screen so that we can read together. Genesis 50. 
Let's look at it. Okay? Okay, we have it on the screen on the radio. Let's read together from 15 to 21. It says, And when Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead, and they said, Joseph will peradventure ate us, and will certainly re- request us all the evil which we did unto him. And verse 16 to 21, please. Let's make it fast. And they sent a messenger unto Joseph, and saying, that his father did command before he, he died, saying, so shall ye say unto Joseph, Forgive, I pray thee now, the trespass of thy brethren and their sin. For they did, they did unto thee evil. And now, we pray thee, Forgive the trespass of the servant of the God of thy father. And Joseph wept when they spake unto him. Okay? And his brethren also went and fell down before his face. And they said, Behold, we be thy servants. 19. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for I am uh, for, uh, for am I in the place of God is a question. But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good and to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. And 21. 21. Now therefore fear ye not, I will nourish you and your little ones and he comforted them and spake kindly unto them. The first reason why God wants you to prosper is so that your haters, those who don't like you, will be forced to submit. Oh, understand, Juwalo. For you to be the number six. And the number one is saying, oh, I've experienced that. Somebody will look at you and say, Oh, yeah, me. Anything to ban something. I understand. Oh, yeah, me. And I keep telling the ones under me that, Oh, yeah. And that's the reason why every time, moments of fun, I'm Ah, I said, day. I don't know about you, but I believe that some of us here can testify since you have given your life to Christ that you are different from others. You may face some challenges like Joseph. He did. Because prosperity is one of the major reasons our enemies and haters will be forced to submit and say, eh? Only again, go to buy it. Toto buy it. She is a lie. Ah, irony. Ah, kushe she. Ah, ba ulo she debe. And that's the reason why we must always ask for his prosperity. Olu wa jek in da jubai lo. Olu wa jek on la jubai lo for me. Olu wa shano for me. The evil pattern in my father's house must not catch up with me. That is the first reason. Number two. When you prosper, it will be very easy for you to carry out both your dreams and ambitions. If you prosper, it will be very easy for you. Your dreams, your aspiration, what you have in mind, it will be easy for you to bring it to pass. Because some people die with their vision, their dreams today because they lack what what it takes to make it be fulfilled. They don't have people who can help them. They don't have the resources to get to where they are going. Imagine how the man at the pool of Bethesda was stagnated for 38 years because he did not have what it takes for him to leave that very particular point. I saw something on the internet. And I, I was like, no, this is a word. It happens to me. 
I did not know that the person was hearing me. I was thinking, I never knew the person was listening. So I caught it up. And I called the person back. We kept discussing. Not until when the person now showed up and said, Mama, this is a new phone. phone phone I look at the phone. I went on quickly. I called my brother. My brother, check. How much is this? He said, Susan, Susan. I said, what? They will have given me my money. I told the person, I called him back. Hey, what if I should give you that money, Mama, you will not use the money for what I asked you. So it's better I, I call for them to bring the phone for you than Momonyo. Molenyo. I pray for everyone. Alenyo. Amonyo. Maybe it is more important. But he can't put up with you. Momonyo. Momonyo. Go help me. Only when money did not know what is not, he's looked down on me and said, Kini, Kini, but oh, my, oh, to a lane, eh? How my dash will be cheap, boy, Kini, Kakato, you might fit here, my yano, my be a sorry bit of fact by O me and my moon, only moon, your baby, but my be a sorry me, and your lane on me. I pray for us that after this teaching, everything that will make our life to be comfortable, the Lord will grant unto us in Jesus' name. He will give unto and hand it over to us in the mighty name of Jesus. This man was stagnated for 38 years because nobody to help him, to push him into the pool. Into the pool. Oh yeah. One way. He wrote me yama abo. I want to lay To mourn Oh, my God. I want you to go to bed. Oh, my God. For them to not help him, to push him there. They disappear. So he was there for 80, 33, 38 years. And hey, you're 33, 38 years, and you know, 44. Wasted years, wasted efforts. May it not be our portion in Jesus' name. I want to nyo to monyo. They came along. Anytime the water, the, oh, the angel of God is in the pool, they will they will quickly say, Come on, come on. What's that they one way? They came out and everybody, some of them, it may not spend, they may, it may not even cost them more than six months to be there. Some, it may be the same day. As the water was coming up, come, ah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 But when you prosper, it will be easy for your dreams and ambition, your, your, your passion, all you have in mind to come to limelight, to come to realization. Number three. Prosperity is one of the reasons why people are not alone. When you are prosper, you will have people coming closer. So I I put it this way. Do you notice that prosperity is one of the reasons people are not alone? Toba lowo. I want your mouth water any. But they are going to like it. Oh, what way? You put any. Oh, my God, what you want? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Baba, baba, baba. Daddy, mommy. Amy, I see. Amy, I take one lajori. One lajori late. Prosperity will make you have people. You know, they will come around to surround you. People who are doing well don't lack people. People want to connect with them in one way or the other. They want to be, you know, to say yes. We know her. We know him. At your law school, ni. People will come up to say they know you when you are when you are okay. When the prosperity of God come upon your life, Proverbs chapter fourteen twenty, Proverbs fourteen twenty, and also Proverbs nineteen four. First, open fourteen twenty, fourteen twenty. Let's see the word of God there. Fourteen twenty. Say the poor is hated, even of his own neighbor, but the rich has what? Rich has what? Many friends. One call friend, friends. You want to feel saying 
Igwe won po janti rere. Bo o to si oni re yan kankan. They were eating and say kilo wo. Kilo ba o le se ri. Kilo. The way they will even look at the person. But when you are rich, people will come around you. Ana won fe wa ki e. Se ka ki yin sile. Ani ka wa che ki yin. Ani The second one Proverb 19:4. 19:4. Let's have it. He said, "What make it many what friends, but the poor is separated from his own." So, what creation that we are talking about needs? To, you must have. Oti jakamu by from where we started from that God wants you to be rich, but when you have it, the first one, your enemy, your haters will be forced to submit. Two. It will be easy for you to carry out your dream and ambition. Number three, you will be noticed. People will come around you. You will notice that all the people that have, they, are, they don't want to associate with you before, they begin to come around and say, yes, well, we, we, we know you. I'm a bush in law. I'm a yiri. I'm a dairy. I'm a program. They will begin to remind you of what you yourself, you don't even remember again. May we be rich. Say amen. amen. The prosperity is coming towards our direction. This season in the name of Jesus. Number four. Prosperity is a tool for global evangelism. For those of us in the ministry. Prosperity is a tool for global evangelism. Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 17. Prosperity is a tool for global evangelism. Zechariah 117. 117. Please be quick. He said, Cry yet, saying, Thus see the Lord of hosts, my cities, through prosperity, shall yet be spread about abroad, and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion, and shall yet choose what? Jerusalem. But look at the first point. Don't see it. Alone, for us, or back way. Alone, to alone. What's the matter? To alone, like you way. It's by prosperity that shall ye be spread abroad. That means if there is no prosperity, there won't be branches. So, for ministry to work in your hand as a pastor, you must prosper. You must have money you. because it, it requires so many self discipline. You will make use of your own money to make it to prosper. And I kept telling myself, eh, I have somebody who is ahead of me sharing the testimony that I will not be poor as a pastor, Mrs. And I kept saying it to myself, I will never be poor. So if we can have it in our mindset, I'm a child of God. It should be a determination in your heart. There was a time I would wake myself up around that 3 a.m. I would st- I would stand up and I would prof- I would I would confess to myself. I am Olu I I am not Pastor Prince. Rafa. I'm not Prince Rafalabi. I, I, I said that a few weeks ago to my husband and he kept looking at me. I said that was when I clocked 40, I made up that my mind. I am not Pastor Prince Rafalabi. I can never be Pastor Prince Rafalabi. Lie, lie. I said, my, uh, take it or leave it. I am Olu IMC Afolabi. I married to Pastor Prince Rafalabi and I am here to fulfill my purpose, to fulfill my vision. I will never be poor. I will never beg. I will remain you know, faithful to him, and I know he will show up for me. So in the middle of the night, I kept confessing that. Because, you know, when you are overwhelmed with some situation, you begin to think otherwise. You begin to think some naughty things. It affected me then. And I, I stood up that night. And I kept saying to myself, I am Olu I Afolabi. I can never be Pastor Prince Afolabi, but I will be rich. As a pastor's wife, I will make it. I kept confessing that to myself. Oh, then, only be a lo, a mule, da, be on, 
Timothy Lakoya. So you keep confessing it. You see God bring it and you to take step. Oh. You know you keep confess. You can confess to Jesus come and you remain in your bedroom. You confess, you take step. You confess, you take step. Towards the positive one, not the negative one. Not that you go and kiss somebody and say, ah, I've been confessing, let me take. Don't take the wrong step. Do what is right and you will see God coming to help you. Number five. Do you notice that the children of pros uh, prosperous believers easily agree to serve their God, their, their father's uh, God? Let me come back. Do you notice that the children of the prosperous believers easily agree to serve their father's God? I was watching something on the internet today and I saw the first son of Bishop Oyedepo has said, I confirm my calling. <laughs> when I saw that this morning, I said, come on. <laughs> Have you ever seen a doctor's son or daughter coming up and say, Have you seen that before? No. But out of 100, you will see uh, 20. All of them want to be doctor. If your father, their mother is a lawyer, they want to be a lawyer. But have you ever seen a prosperous believer that the child will say, They will agree to serve their father's God because they know that God is faithful in the life of their father. It was not difficult for Isaac to follow God of Abraham. For Jacob to follow the God of Isaac, his father, and for Joseph to follow the God of his father. The rich always want to remain rich. Why believer always want to remain? No. The plan and the purpose of God as a believer is for us to be rich. To be wealthy. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 22. Proverbs 13 22. Let's have it. Proverbs 13, 22. He said, cry. Uh, uh, Proverbs 13, 22. Uh, a good man liveth what? An inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Isaac followed the God of Abraham. Because when he came, he noticed that the father has so many things. Why will I not serve the God that make him to have all this? I will serve his God. He followed suit. Same thing when Jacob came. Kilonoche. Olorun baba wa. Olorun awon baba wa. Our mentor, we were with him on Friday and he asked us, to pray a prayer that the Lord will answer us, we make it things to work for us. And but I was my own prayer was Lord, if you can help my mentor and his wife to achieve all this at this year age, Father, I know you are able. As we are at the front, he asked us to come on the altar. Father, do that which you are you have done, even beyond what we can even imagine. Have your way, Lord. Everybody kept praying. He wants us to exceed him. To go beyond him. Have you ever How much more those of us in, the, in Christ? We should be better off. Let them have more than enough. We should be better off than our fathers. Our mothers. In prosperity. Not in sickness. Not in poverty. So with all these, beloved, I want us to understand that God wants his children to be wealthy. And also, you should agree with me that he wants us to have the best. You are referring to people and say, I want to lower. 
You know, there is a way we used to quote it. I'm more low. Let's change the way we confess whatsoever that is coming out of our mouth. When it comes to wealth creation, when it comes to prosperity, let's confess the positive. The God of Abraham was also the God of Isaac and also the God of Jacob. And even Joseph confessed it and said, they are my fathers. And if we all want to pray, we, I mean, in those days they say, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Or call Meta, in those days. The God of that yesterday is still God today. And if we can have it in our mind, it will help us. I want to conclude this. Let me quickly show us something here. These are the things we'll make mention in our next uh, uh, service. Having said all this, if a child of God is not wealthy, what then could be the problem? What could be the problem? I have about five or six, but we are not going to mention it today. I, will do, I mean, I won't go deeper into it. I will just mention it to us, and we'll take it one after the other. And the first one that could be any of these below, number one, unconquered battle from every angle. What can make the work, apart from the evil pattern that I mentioned last week, number two could be unconquered part two from every angle. In the book of uh, First King chapter 5, verse 3. First King 5, 3. Can you open there for me? First King 5, 3. Unconquered battle from every angle. He said, though, I don't need my face. Thou knowest how that David, my father, could not Build an house unto the name of the Lord is God. He said, Well, for the words which we are about him on every side. Ogun Yika Ogun Bande Ogun Telemi Owale Ogun Lost Wansi Losi. I look at one family one day. I say, Ah, man of God, family Ogun Padi Ogun. You know, you've, you've done see husband and wife. Coming together and their life is like ah. I told my husband, I said, ah, oh papo, oh parapo, what's it? Oh, a choco, oh, a calesino and family in you. Ah, oh, you're getting your maro, getting your total one. Oh, eh, eh, you know, we are just laughing. There are some things that need that we need to we need to check very well before putting our heads into it. I was looking for a property and I was discussing with mama, one of my friends, and she said. Eh, Pastor Mrs. Iru yin bai le le gbabe. Moni ki lo re oni se mori bi ile yen se to bi to ogun yirapo o fi be joke. I said why? He said mama, oni po se mi si ko si en to gbabe to se rere ri. I was like, ah, why do you say oh, eh, ma o da bi be ni won gbe ogun. Bobo Guay, if it was sent to a woman, woman get busy, one only do a five seven years rent. Woman for a one, she left concealer one around my quarrel on Jade. Oh, she did, oh, she did not bow one bed. That is as bad as that. When all when you have a conquered battle from every angle, there is no how you can prosper because we come by shame, oh, my shake glory on my. When you have an unconquered battle from every angle, you can't prosper. Number two, ignorance of what, what next to do can also make the work creation not to be possible. If you don't know what to do next, if you don't know when to shift, when to move from one side to the other and say, ah, business is if I'm a lawyer, can one You know, some people don't have, they don't, they, they don't, they don't know what, what, what's next. And that's the reason why the world creation the, 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 the ability to prosper for a continuous prosperity. I met a friend too, and I was just asking a general question. And I said, ah, What of your husband? You've been the one doing everything. Say, ah, my husband knew how to say, How do you part? That has been 
what he has been selling right from when I met him. Even up to now, we've begged and begged to change what he's doing. He refused. And all the children are now going to invest in. How he will survive this season is what I don't understand. I have to come out to start working. I said, so the man is still selling the Audi. Audi Melo in Siri. Old school part. Who will buy it? It's just like our former Jeep. We look for the part of oh, Sote. My husband said, the best thing a Jack Beta Hunter. How can we be looking for what? Somebody is not selling that part of that car. A young male alone. You know, you go for something higher. No when to change. Ah, take it to the switch. Or not in law, cruel, no, no. Move to something else. And that's one of the reasons why I used to encourage bankers. You don't stay in the bank. If you should leave the bank, you won't know what to do. From when you are inside the bank, start working. Start doing some other things. By the time you come out, oh, yeah. I have seen so many bankers dying. I have seen so many bankers dying. Because they are used to good life before. Coming to stress. Stress in your mouth. Same thing. Ignorance of what next to do if you don't know it part time. Only delay prosperity. We should have that in our mind. Number three, mismanagement of funds. Mismanagement of funds. Number four, an unorganized lifestyle. Toba means use the fund. A walk in Duro. I lay Johnny Walk when you Oh, man, full on. It's like a bird. If you talk about tie it down, to visit no cage. Why can't the ladder jump on quick big bad to buy the bed? What you follow? Because you will have spent and spent on things that are not necessary. Same thing, mismanagement of fun and on un- organized lifestyle, which is number four, and unorganized lifestyle. You are don't organize your life. In Koto Yako Fish is dead. Look, we see a wa wo ya fe be to wan la rin yen ko to kon zed there's no how things will know it will go nyama nyama number 5 laziness in work creation if you must deal with laziness oh, you can't be sleeping in the house till 11 o'clock and you are expecting the blessing of god to come laziness will never allow the prosperity to come to re- to continue to flow except to buy e pe nu le yen ni business yen wa as you are inside, you are making your millions, your billions there. But if you are on the bed sleeping, and say, one she share for me, he share to a mojuto gonko iti son. How about say, to a mojuto a kukuku? And the last point, before I go to today, is wrong mindset about money. Wrong mindset about money. A woman lost it, but don't talk about money. Go wula ti yasodo me. I've asked one of our staff in those days. I said, Oh, well, that's yes or no. I said, It's a wrong mindset. I have seen believers, eh? They suffer till they die. But not to come and say, I want to look on you, Bonnie. After all this suffering, nobody to help them buy, buy casket. Good one. Want to, want to come, you give up. Maybe see, oh, she ain't to. Ah, I will never be poor. So, wrong mindset about money also can be a delay, you know, can cause delay for the children of God, you know, not to have wealth. And with all that we have mentioned this morning, it shows to us that God loves you. He loves me. He wants us to be wealthy. He wants us to make it. On fun da re, o man she to bi aye wa she ma data afi ma loro. O ti o ti wa no program e for each of us. But if we make mistake by not using all that is available, we may find ourselves in mess. And with all this, let's go back home and work on it. Work on your mindset. I will we'll pick each of these points that I've mentioned. We'll, we'll trash it. We'll bring some points out of it for each service. I believe for the end, for, till the end of this year, that will be for our teaching. So that we are actually preparing our hearts towards 2024 
on how we can be we can we can be wealthy how things can work for our favor how we can be rich so we are preparing our hearts for 2024 13 prepare 2024 so 2024 yes surely do you get it oh sure so start preparing yourself and start praying <laughs> so i've shown you the reason why children of god you know don't prosper and i've been able to show you what can be the cause and with all this in mind, I want us to bow our heads this morning. Let's talk to God, the Father. Please help me. My Jehovah will serve for me. Give me the grace to be able to control it. Give me the grace to have it. You know, I want you to pray that God, please bless me. Let your blessing come upon me. Hmm. Father, I agree that you want me to have prosperity. I agree that you want me to have wealth. Jehovah, I agree with it. Please, let it come to me. Let it come my way. Jehovah, help me, Lord. My, my mindset has been changed this morning. That you have a proper plan for me. As you did to Solomon. You can as well do to me. Yes, I can have the prosperity. Help me to walk in line with it. Help me to remain faithful. Help me to obey you. One of the things that can make the, 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 well, the well to remain with a person is when one is obedient to you. According to your word, to Solomon. Father, help me to be obedient to you. Help me that my mind will, Lord, will be put together. I'll be able to serve you with all my heart. In the name of Jesus. The Lord said to Solomon, if you can, can serve me with all your heart, if you can serve me and follow my, all my laws, you will remain wealthy. Jehovah, from that point this morning, I know you have a good plan for me. I promise to obey you, to serve you with all my heart. Please help me. Help me, Lord. Let your wealth come unto me. Let your blessing come unto me. Let your prosperity come unto me. And with long life. With long life. Good life in the name of Jesus. I received that grace this morning. I received that unction this morning. For prosperity in the name of Jesus. I will not go down. The path of the justice has a shining light. He shined brighter and brighter. Unto a perfect day. I received that covenant. I received that grace this morning. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I return of glory back unto you, Lord. Let's begin to bring our prayer to a close. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Shall we rise on our feet? Let's rise on our feet. Everlasting Father.